Welcome to another episode of Audi Critics. Oh my god, it's Spider Man! Spider Man! Woo! We got Spider Man and they got the Punisher here to review Spider Man Far From Home. You want to know a secret about Spider Man? Uh oh, what's the secret about Spider Man? I'm really Tyler the Pain that. Oh shit, I always do. <laughs> and if you haven't noticed, I'm Philip the Punisher Collins. <laughs> Spider Man Far From Home is what we're doing today, fellas. If you haven't noticed, we got, we got this poster up here. We yeah. got Spider Man. We poster. actually had that poster for like two months now. Yeah, so we we're like prepare for this. Okay. And I got Jesse from Breaking Bad. He says, "Yeah, bitch." I'm wearing this again. Yeah, but he's representing the audience. Represent. Spider Man was representing. Yeah, Spider Man. Spider Man was representing the uh, what, what, what's his catchphrase? Um, a friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Right. And if you guys haven't noticed, we, we got, got a, a microphone. microphone. Yeah. Yeah. Me, 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 me. Yeah. Anyways, let's get into this. <laughs> Spider Man Far From Home. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I had to fight him to go see it. But that, that's, that's other reasons see, why. Now, I want to. After the day after that, but there are some issues that, uh, that yeah. went on. And... It's a personal life things, stuff. Things happen. Things, but we're here now. Yeah. That's what matters. Anyway, so let's get to this review. Let's get into this. So we're going to get an entertainment first. Okay. I want to go first. Okay. He's going first. Because it's okay. most in his mind more than me. So Spider-Man is my favorite hero. Or favorite. Why did you say Green Lantern? Lantern was. That's for DC. Oh, okay. But all together, Spider-Man. Uh, and don't judge me on the Green Lantern thing. I don't like it. But his favorite movie is Green Lantern with Brian Reynolds. Oh yeah, it's the best one. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. But anyway, Spider Man is my favorite. And you know, of course, I love Tobey Maguire Spider Man's and whatnot. But it's the this movie I, at first I was like Tom Holland, you know, I don't know how I feel about it, but honestly I think he did great. And I'm gonna actually give this movie a four point five. For entertainment? For entertainment. Okay. Four point five. Let me just say I really enjoy it. For my entertainment, I I do like Spider-Man, Spider-Man movies from Tobey Maguire. Only ones I did really like was uh, the Made Spider-Man with um, Andrew Garfield. I That's think. everybody. Yeah, uh, but there's uh, other personal things. I mean, I even love the cartoons. Uh, but for, for entertainment, it, I mean, it was pretty entertaining throughout everything. So I'll give it probably four point two five. Four point two. That's a nine point seven five. No, it's not. It's a eight point seven five. Eight point seven five. I see. I'm trying to. Yeah. Out. Not all the way here. Yeah. Never. Anyways, next is what we're doing. Long journey. Long journey. Okay. So long journey. So my turn. So, same thing. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, like Dark Phoenix, Child's Play, Toy Story, all of these has been part of uh, a franchise. And especially being the first movie after Endgame, I do feel like it's going to have a longevity, especially because I thought it was pretty good all, all together. So I will give longevity probably another 4.25. 4. That's two. 4.25. Oh, yeah. I feel like Spider-Man needs to explain the longevity of his own movie. Mm-hmm. But uh, so here's how I feel about this. All right. So, like you said, it's the first movie after Endgame. And not only that, but it has things about, and I'm going to say things about Endgame mm-hmm. in this movie. It's, it's not, it's, it, they're directly connected, so obviously going to have longevity. And not only that, but it's a Spider-Man movie, like the series and stuff. And I feel like, also with it being Tom Holland, and, mm-hmm. you know, the Into the Multiverse was a good movie. I felt like, and people liked it enough, so it's the movie, it's the Spider-Man after that, so of course people are like, well, Into the Multiverse is good, so maybe mm-hmm. this is going to be good. So I'm going to think this longevity is going to be good as well. I'm going to give it a 4.25 as well, which okay. is 8.5. Okay, make sure that you got it right that time. 8.5. And for the last one, does it fit the genre? Does it fit the genre? Yeah, it fits the genre. Why wouldn't it fit the genre? Hero movie, mm-hmm. and he's a hero. He's friendly neighborhood spider. Yeah, but he's, he's not in his neighborhood. He's not in his neighborhood. Well, yeah, he's not in his neighborhood. But you also get to realize, bitch, you've been to space. But with, <laughs> <laughs> but with Endgame and stuff, you know, I feel like keeping him in his neighborhood is getting him nowhere, and you know all that. 
Plus, technically, in this movie, has a different neighborhood. So, yeah. but I still think fitting the genre is really good. I'm going to give it a four out of five. Four out of five. So, just a straight four out of five. Mm-hmm. So, for me. Actually, I really did that, so it's easy to count. Yeah. For me, you know, it obviously does fit the genre and all that. Like he said, you know, they have superhero fights and they have superhero dilemma and like all this stuff so it definitely fits the genre and i'll give that one a 4.5 4.5 8.5 so they got 8.75 8.5 uh for entertainment for entertainment 8.5 for longevity and 8.5 for genre yeah that's a solid score yeah that's a solid score also we like it Anyway. Now, uh oh, uh oh, we're done with the non spoilers. You know what that means, everybody. School's in session. That was a good one. <laughs> All right, so who's going? Who's going? Who's going first? Well, first of all, in case you haven't seen, this is called Another Level. Another Level, right. Which we um, start singing to you. So if you don't want to hear no spoilers after this, this is part of the video where you stop. Or you can listen to the singing, then you stop. It don't matter. Yeah. Oh, um, I don't know. Did, I can't remember who did singing last. If you want, I can go first. I don't mind. No, I think I went second last time, so I guess okay. I better do okay. it. Yeah, man up to it. Okay, girl. so I picked this song because it fits fits the movie. At least I felt like it. And if you see it, you understand why. But it's uh, One Republic Apologize. With Timberland, it depends on who you listen to. I do like them by themselves, but... Ready? I am. He, his neck's ready. It I'm now. holding on a rope, got me ten feet off the ground. I'm hearing what you say, but I just can't make a sound. They tell, they tell me that you mean it, then you go and cut me down. But wait! You tell me that you're sorry, didn't think I'd turn around and say It's too late to apologize, it's too late I think I just missed it It's too late! <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good well, Thank you, thank Getting you better. Yeah. Getting better It's because it's a song I'm really comfortable with because I've listened to so much Right So much in my personal life too Right And uh, this song oh, no. I've done this artist before. It's Brockhampton. I did some gold by Brockhampton. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the last, the second one. Uh, but I'm going to have to look up the lyrics. Um, this is something I've been, this is, I, I mean, it kind of can relate, to be fair, uh, because, you know, how he felt in certain situations. Yeah. But um, I'm just going to have, well, it's also been relating to me in my life recently, so that's really what I mean. So it's called San Marcos by Brockhampton. So, let's see. Maybe I'm broken. Either way, I'm clinging on closely. I know it's not healthy. Appreciate your pace since I know that I'm selfish. Do my best to be selfless. I know that I'm changing. I know that I'm changing. I want more out of life than this. I want more. I want more. I'm going to stop it there because it's just going to repeat. Yeah, bitch. I want more mm. out of life than this. Mm-mm-mm. That's a you good saying. If you, if you ask me, I think it's a good. Uh, and it kind of does relate to Spider-Man, too. If you, if you He does want it. more. He wants Mary Jane. Right. And also he wants to, you know. We'll talk about that yeah. later. Anyways, that's the end of the non-spoilers in our karaoke. So now it's time to get a spoilers. Spoilers. First of all, one thing I'm going to hit on that kind of pissed me off about the movie. There's one scene in the trailer or in the trailer that's not in the movie. Remember when he's fighting the guard or in the cops and he's like, what are you, doing? What are you doing, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I'm about to go on vacation. Uh, but at first he was like, I'm do- I've am i been doing a job. And the cops like, Whoa. That was not in the movie. Yeah, I, I, and, I'm be honest, I didn't see the trailer. Okay, well, I saw the trailer. I was, I'm a nerd. But I'm like, what the fuck? This scene's not in the movie. Anyways, getting past that, um, I do like how it started where it was like right after, uh, I can't remember what they called it. 
the blink, the blink, or yeah. the blip, the blip, the, the blip, blip. Yes, blip. Is the blip. I do. I like the way they incorporated the black. Like how the blip is like people aged five years. Yeah, or something and some like people that. did it, and then it shows a scene where people are the band showing yeah. up, and then people run into them and stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean that was kind of cool, and I, I I like it. But, but it pretty much lets me know about Iron Man being dead and oops, we haven't seen the game. But if you haven't seen the game, you should be watching. Yeah, movies. yeah, for real. Um, What's wrong with you? But let me tell you, I don't know if you feel the same way, but man, Aunt, Aunt May is using Spider Man. Yeah, she, she's doing the spider raise thing. And was like, oh, I there take pictures and all that. I'm like, motherfucker, like. I ain't just here to show up whenever you want it. Want me right. To. I'm like, yeah, you, you. I live underneath the roof, but what? I what? What? I. I guess my biggest con- it wasn't even be a concern, honestly, but how young she is. But man, she's hot. Yeah. And then, and then Happy, he. Let me tell you, Happy just cracks me up. John Fario, John Fario, is to me is his great actor. And if you don't know, he's also a director. You know what else he? You know he's directing this about to come out that mm. we're about to review. What? The Lion King. Really? He directed the Lion King. Yeah. That's he cool. also directed the first Iron Man and the second one. That's, that's the third crazy. one though. That's, that's the reason why third third Iron Man kind of. Went, mm. That's crazy. I don't know. That. I don't yeah. know who his director. Yeah. He he. That's why I think he's a great talent. He can do a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. But that part was hilarious. But anyways. Ned, his his best uh, Peter Parker's best friend, just cracks me up. I liked him a lot. I thought he was like, "We're gonna be the next American Bachelor." And yeah. Then, and then uh, right when they got off the plane, he's like, "Oh yeah, me and her." Yeah, and that was so, hilarious. Like, this I, the whole I, there's was... a point in your life where you have to become a man and yeah. stop being a boy and stuff. And I was like, "Wow, dude!" But even this, you know, when he wanted to sit next to Mary Jane, if you know what that means. No, um, right. Uh. He goes, oh, there's someone with perfume, and then that, okay, Martin Starr, I don't know if you know who that is. Mm, the, the, the teacher. teacher. Yeah. yeah. He just cracks me and goes, oh, my God, I know all about this. I know all about <laughs> well, that. Then he yeah. starts talking about his getting divorced and all that, and he goes, we had, we, cause, well, remember he said his wife, he thought his wife died with I'm, the thing, and they had a funeral and all that. That was. You know what surprised me and I really enjoyed? Zendaya. Oh, yeah, yeah. MJ. So I, I hate to admit it, but I used to watch her Disney stuff. You know when she had the, the, she had like a dance TV show, and I I enjoyed. I thought she was a good actor, and I didn't know she was actually in the movie. And then I seen her, and I was like, what? And then I think she actually did a pretty good job at it too, if you ask me. Mm, I gotta put my shades on because that's pretty shady that you didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, let's get uh get more into but it. But back back to the thing. So you know, it he, turns out Nick Fury set this whole thing up. What? There's a school trip. Nick Fury. Oh yeah. Because he couldn't get in touch with Spider-Man. Right. Because he's like, I'm gonna get ghosted by a 16 year old boy. Yeah. Then he he set up the whole thing. Yeah. And then, that was hilarious. That was funny. Right after meeting, when well, after Spider-Man had to meet, or Peter Parker had to meet the people. Yeah. Or whatever, and then met Mysterio. Yeah. Or he called well, him Mysterio, Mysterio was fighting the water element. First of all, there was a scene earlier in the movie, the very beginning of the movie, where Mysterio shows up, but. We're going to get touched on that because it, it was just like... And we're not I mean, trying to explain every detail yeah. of the movie either. But he sees Mysterio, but, and he's trying to help Mysterio, but that, like, he ain't pretty much put like a mask like this, but I think more like festival kind of thing. Just, yeah. to, just to cover up to help Mysterio, like at least help um, the building stuff. Like, he didn't do that good of a job, you know... He might have got hit by a bell twice. Oh, that was hilarious. do <laughs> That was pretty fun. But um, long story short, Mysterio somehow defeats the the water element, and that's when him and Ned go and talk, and that's when he gets tranquilized. And that part was hilarious when he people kept on knocking on the door. He goes, hey, "One more person knocks on that door, I'm gonna put a bullet through." Him yeah, like that. And that's when Spider Man goes to meet um, Mysterio. Well, first he he went by his name, and then they call him Mysterio, and he goes, "What?" You know, kind of thing. And then he kind of sticks with Yeah. It. But um, he was like, I'm the wrong person. And plus, if somebody sees that I'm Spider-Man or Spider-Man's here, they're going to put two and two together and realize I'm that's me. So they're like, okay, go. And then next thing you know, they're moving on to the next part. Or, or no, the, the bus driver is 
Big Fury is like him smooth. Mm-hmm. That was that was hilarious. Yeah. Also, I got to give little props to JB Smooth. I don't know if you know who that is, but that's the uh, other teacher that's with him, the 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 black guy. Mm-hmm. And he goes, "It's not my fault," you know. Yeah. He, he throughout hilarious. the whole movie, he's like, "Not my." Thing. Yeah. He, and the, later on, when he was like, "I'm not trying to be that that teacher," but that was a little creepy. That that was hilarious. Anyways, P. Parker has some uh, competition with this other guy who didn't go through the blimp. And he was trying to go for Mary Jane. Brad. And, yeah. And he catches Spider-Man with his pants down with the other girl, even though all he was, she was doing was help with Nick Fury. Didn't have a new costume. costume. Yeah. Uh, which is the uh, black outfit that he was wearing. Uh, but she, but you find out about these sunglasses that Tony Stark left him, and he can, he like, control missiles and all that. And all he was trying to do was just try to erase the picture. Yeah. Edith. Yeah, Edith, which stands for even dead. I'm uh, what is it? Even dead. I'm something totally hot. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, yeah. Oh, even dead. I'm the hero. Mm. Is what it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because okay. that's uh, even dead. I'm the hero. Is what um, he called. And then Edith was like, he really does love his acting roles. Yeah. Um. So he has control over billions of dollars worth of satellites and weapons and anything of the yeah. sort through these glasses. But fast forward, because, you know, when Trump try to make the video too long, uh, there's a fire element coming. To, uh, and they're setting up for that. Yeah. And, but this is where they, uh, well, if we're already at this point, it's only halfway through the movie. Obviously, they did the did, did fire element. And they go to a bar and you're like, and then he's drink, um, Sarah's drinking and he's drinking like a root he, beer. Or and something. he says to put on the glasses. Okay, I, one thing I annoyed me because I've been to Europe and whatnot. He's mm-hmm. like, I'm not 21 and he drinks root beer. I know you can drink. It's a um, drink age of 16 and he's 16. Mm-hmm. That's what I was like. But anyway, so he gives over the uh, Edith. Glasses. Edith. Well, at first he puts them on and he's like, you, he kind of looks you, like you, Iron Man. That's yeah. the whole point of it. He looks like Iron Man. And then he kind of clicks in his head, and he's like, "You should be Iron. You should be the Tony next Tony Stark." And gives mm-hmm. all the powers of Edith to uh, Mysterio. Mysterio. And then it turns out that Mysterio is really faking all this, and he has yeah. these like drones that are projecting images. And he... which I do like that how the trailer made it look like uh, Mysterio was was going to be the good guy, like he was like the whole motion. Well, verse. even the first half of the movie it made him yeah. look like the good guy. Yeah, so. it never showed besides him. The thing that got me was like he kept on kind of saying like I just want to tell you to go, blah blah. So stuff like that kind of was like yeah. Yeah, he's trying to get rid of stuff. Yeah, man. but um, I had a feeling because in none of the comic books that I've known or the cartoons or nothing like that that Mysterio was ever a good guy. So I was like, oh man, they would do something different. And then it turns out he's a bad guy. So like, oh, at least he made the trailers look like it, but you know. You can't I understand. still, have, I still had in my heart. I felt like either he's gonna die a hero, or what? What's that Batman saying? You, either you die a hero, or live see you live long enough to see yourself become the villain, something like that. And that's all Mysterio became, and all because Tony Stark called his technology was a fart or barf. Or, barf. It yeah. Was barf. Um, all because he named it something ridiculous and took installed it. Yeah. And from whatever. The and he used was. it for. To, for memories instead of what he originally had planned for. And anyway, it gets to where, uh, you know, Spider-Man obviously, or Peter Parker finds out about, and, and also MJ finds out that Peter Ned. Parker's Spider-Man. Well, Ned already knew about Spider-Man. No, oh, yeah, yeah. But And then uh, they find out about the projector that one of the drones broke off during the That's fire elemental fight. Really told Ned. And then they kind of, you know, and then it gets, so Spider-Man's like, okay, now I know Mysterio's the bad guy. I'm going to try to contact and, and then, then he found out. finally gets Mysterio finds out that Spider-Man knows, and then all of a sudden Spider-Man's going through all these like images. Let me tell you, this, that is my favorite part. That was a because, crazy because, part. Because like when Nick Fury showed up and shot him and all that, and you're like, oh shit. And, and then, then turned out that he was and, Nick Fury. And that's a big twist of shit. Like you're like, yeah. what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? And you're just like, and he just keeps on backing up Spider-Man, and then all of a sudden, and then bam! It gets, it gets to a point where he doesn't even like when Happy shows up, he's like. What what's something yeah, you know that only you would know? Yeah. And what what was it? It was something about porn. 
No, it was like it was like when we're in the hotel, you ordered a movie, and only I know that it was an adult movie by the prices. Yeah, or something like that. And but that was hilarious. And then and, it gets to where they're fighting, and then there's you know, so he Mysterio staging. Well, his, he, well, he makes his own, he makes his own Spider-Man suit again to you know, right, he, combat, which is really cool. Yeah, yeah. he kind of combines a bunch of different powers, and then Mysterio is making this. Elemental that's like a hundred times the size of anything. It's yeah. big enough to fill all the city. He doesn't care who he kills because the more death means more coverage. Yeah. And stuff. And then, you know, Spider Man's fighting through it, you know, and all that. Then eventually, you know, Spider Man gets it, which I thought was really cool when he got his spider senses back and he was oh, yeah. trying to do the images again. He fought through it. And then when he thought he beat it, he caught the the bullet or whatever. No, he grabbed the gun. Or he yeah. grabbed the gun or whatever. And yeah. That, that he goes, was, you can't fool me anymore. Right, and that was crazy. I that, and, but at this point, like, when you didn't know yet, like, he was apologizing, you know, and that's why I picked my song, because he, but then it turns out he was just trying to trick him again. And then, it, and then, you know, it ends, and, well, so yeah. he does get to kiss Mary Jane. Of course. Yeah. Probably. I don't know. Maybe that the other guy probably... Still the deal for you. But nah, you knew that. Yeah, because yeah, she, she came back on him a little bit, if yeah. you ask me. That was hilarious when they when he's like, why are you in the bathroom with me? You know, right, why are you taking pictures of him in the bathroom? And then that's when the teacher was like, hey, I ain't trying to be that teacher, but that's a little creepy. <laughs> right. But, and then, of course, it you know, ends their kiss. And then there's after credit scenes. Oh, my God, there's fucking after. I thought it was going to be happy. Yeah. Like, I, Well, first of all, it ends with happy the, for... And and his aunt first of all about talk about the relationship that was hilarious but that that ain't a big part and then it goes uh, where he's you know he and Mary Jane do their little fly through the yeah. city and that's and what I thought was going to end there's a screen shows up and apparently he was recording the time when Spider Man was there and mm-hmm. it twisted his first, or maybe he had an imaging thing or mm-hmm. something yeah first of all it, it brought up John uh, J Jonah Jameson and first of all thank you same actor. thank you Marvel. Because I know a lot of people was asking for uh, J.K. Simmons back to play play him from Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, and they did. And oh my God, I was so happy because he's such a good asshole. Right, he is. But he they show the video in if you want to. And then he goes, Spider-Man is Peter Parker. Well, first, well, he, first he stuttered, like cuts out, and then it cuts back on and says Spider-Man is Peter Parker. And then shows his picture. Broadcast everywhere. So mm-hmm. now everyone in the world knows. And they think he's a bad guy because... And they think he's a bad guy because he said execute to kill or yeah. whatever, destroy. Yeah. And, and it was took out of context. The people didn't know what it meant. Right. And then you... I actually accidentally skipped on the second Amateurs. Because I didn't know there was... The people. other one... Was it turns out because Dick Fury kind of was too trusting in this one, and that's why it was a little bit weird. But it turns out he's actually on the ship where Captain Marvel, uh, not not where Captain Marvel, but like in a spaceship. If you've seen Captain Marvel with it with the aliens that could uh, uh transform into humans, and it turns out that they were taken over from Nick Fury and his assistant. Nick Fury was actually on vacation. And he's calling you like, yeah, he got the glasses and everything seemed all right. Some things went a little, a little crazy, but we need you back. And then Nick Fury just hangs up on him. And then Nick Fury walks out and goes, anybody seen my shoes? And this reminds me of um, The Incredibles when he was like, anybody seen my super suit? Yeah, but right. that's what I thought was hilarious. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was the second credit. Anyways. Right. Anyway, that's the end of Spider-Man Far From Home. I honestly thought it was a great movie. It, it was pretty good. And I forgot the fortune I had a fortune cookie, but I forgot it on the walk here. Mm-hmm. As, as you see, I don't, you know, it might, it might only be a six-foot walk, but I forgot it. I'm too lazy to go get it, so I have a screenshot of uh, this other YouTube person I watch. And he had it on his back, back wall, and I really enjoyed it, and I was so tired of the pain in the ass about it. Um, tell him, Phil, the punisher called. Yeah, the, the quote is, success is never owned, it's rented, and the rent is due every day. Mm-hmm. Which to me, whatever you put your time and effort into, you gotta, you gotta be there every day. You can't be yeah. like, uh, I can't do this. You right can now. only succeed if you're working to succeed. Yeah. 
But if you think you're already successful and that, that's going to get you by, eventually that success is going to go away. Right. So you, you got to work, work hard every work day. for what you get. Yep. Earn it. But that is another video down. Yep, another video. Spider-Man Far From Home. <laughs> another video down with Audio Critics. Tune in, subscribe, like, share, whatever you want to do. Tell your friends. Tell yeah. your neighbors. Tell your parents. Tell everybody. Tell your dog. Tell Chewbacca. Tell Han Solo. Tell Spider-Man. Well, he's yeah. Here. He already knows. But still, tell him we liked him. All right. Have a good one. Stay classy.